so there are four postulates which you need to remember that is one into one it is one sorry one into one it is one zero plus zero it is zero second postulate one into zero is equal to zero one zero into one is equal to zero same way zero plus one is equal to one one plus zero is of is also equal to one so zero into zero is equal to zero one plus one is equal to one so one bar is equal to zero zero bar is equal to one next coming into the first theorem first theorem is about operations with zero and one so first theorem is zero into x is equal to zero in that second one one plus x is equal to one let us take the first one we can prove by substituting first we shall take an lhs we will take a theorem a we will take an lhs of it lhs so we will substitute x is equal to zero first and then zero into zero as per the postulates it is zero so you can see lhs is equal to rhs again what we do is we will substitute x is equal to 1 so when we substitute x is equal to 1 1 into x is is also equals to 1 into 0 is also equals to 0 as per the postulates so uh, theorem b can also be proved in a similar manner in according to the theorem 1 the expression 0 Uh, z, uh, theorem 1 0 is equal to 0 and 1 plus the boolean expression is equal to 1 for example they have taken this example and they are explaining this so 0 into some expression is equal to 0 the same way 1 plus the boolean expression is, of, is also equal to 1 this is all about your theorem 1 so by this what we understood is we realized the a by substituting the value 0 or 1 and we proved it lhs is equal to rhs so hence overall it means some 0 into some boolean expression that is equal to 0 and 1 plus a boolean expression is equal to 1 coming into a theorem 2 operations with 0 and 1 so here 1 into x is equal to x so substitute the value substitute the value substitute x is equal to 0 1 into 0 is equal to 0 and 1 into 1 is, is also equals to 1 so that proves LHS is equal to RHS by this we can see boolean expression 1 into boolean expression is equal to boolean expression so 0 plus boolean expression is equal to boolean expression for example you can see 1 into boolean expression is equal to 0 plus boolean expression that is equals to a boolean expression by this we can prove theorem 2 similar way we can do uh, we can prove theorem 2 b theorem 3 is also called as indi identity law that is nothing but x into x is equal to x x plus x to the infinity x is, is also equals to x so let us apply some boolean expression to it so by this what we conclude is 
a boolean expression is equal to a boolean expression i repeat it identity law says that if some expression is equal plus some same expression that is equal to a same expression so x plus x is equal to x so coming into a theorem 4 complementation law what it says x into x bar is equal to 0 x plus x bar is equal to 1 so according to this theorem in general any boolean expression when and handed to its complement yields 0 when it is or to the complement it yields 1 so we will take a theorem 4a we will substitute x is equal to 0 x bar is equal to 1 therefore x into x bar is equal to 0 into 1 that is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 x bar is equal to 0 therefore x into x bar is equal to 0 hence the theorem 4a is proved since theorem 4b is a dual of the theorem 4a its proof is implied implied the it is also in the similar way we can prove it for this theorem when we apply some boolean expression you can see a complement a plus b into c whole bracket complement of a plus b into c that is equal to 0 same similar way a plus b into c plus complement of a plus b into c is equal to 1 so this is called as complementation law so what do you mean by commutative law commutative law is nothing but x plus y is equal to y plus x you have already studied this commutative law in your puc if you have this theorem will be easy for you if you had studied the so that is nothing but x plus y is equal to y plus x b x into y is equal to y into x so it says that the order in which variables are added or or is immaterial that results of a or b same as that of b or a again the theorem 5b it also says that it implies that the order in which variables are added is is also immaterial the result of a and b is same as that of b and a theorem 6 x plus y plus z is equal to theorem 6 is also called as associative law x plus y plus z is equal to y plus x plus z y plus x plus z sorry i repeat it there is a bracket over here which is missing here in the associative law that is here okay so in the what we do is we will write the logic gates for this there is a missing statement let me write the associative law x plus y plus z is equal to here you can see the bracket makes a huge difference here so that is given by x plus y plus z that is equal to x plus y plus z bracket is a important thing so what we do is we will write the logic symbol for this 
by using an or get because we have a plus symbol here so you can see in the diagram we are giving the inputs to the or get the output of that is given to this why is it so because we have a bracket here so we will group it into one and then the in output of that is given as an input to one more or get similar way x into y is given as an or get the output of that is again given as an input one or get so same way we can write it for the b that is given by x y z is equal to x y z okay this this is an expression what we do is when it is a multiplication we use an and gate here so x there is a bracket here y z so those two are the inputs to an and gate output of this is given as an input to one more and gate i will write the expression again x into y into z is equal to x into y into z this bracket this bracket so the the expression which is inside the bracket will be given uh, will be taken as an input to one and gate and then output of this is given to a one more and gate next theorem is a distributive law so this distributive law can be proved by substituting the value to it and then we, we, we will use the postulates to simplify the values so let us take the first law in the distributive law you have two again 7a and 7b so here when we take this what we do is we will give an input there are three variables that is x y z will give the input to the variables once we give the input to the variables what what do we want we want x y okay we will write x y then we want x z so in the question the bracket is missing here that is y plus x we want y plus x so what we do is we use a postulates to simplify it and we do get an answer this this answer so we use the same manner to in order to get this and then we will further simplify it and we will check we will equate it and we will check whether it is equal or not the same manner can be applied for the 7b also so we can write the true table in the similar way so once you realize the distributive law by using a true table then you can write the logic symbol for that so looking at this you can see you have an expression here so in the expression the bracket is missing here so by looking at this you you can just uh, uh, got to know this the input y plus z means a or gate and the output of the or gate is given to an and gate this completes the lhs so coming into an rhs x y x z both are and gate because they are multiplying and the output of that is given to an or gate similar way we can simplify the distributive law for 7b this expression also okay write a true table for it use a postulates law for where you can further simplify it. just check whether lhs is equal to rhs once you prove that you can write the logic symbol logic symbol logic gates by using a logic gates it is very simple first take a input which is in the bracket first and then give it to a next expression so suppose this one so y into z it should be given to an and gate then it is given to an or gate output of that similar way x plus y y plus x plus z so or gate and the output of that is given to an and gate so this completes the distributive law 
Next is the theorem 8. So theorem 8 states that this is a special case of theorem 7 where you can see x into y plus x into y dash that is equal to x. Same way x plus y whole bracket into x plus y bar is equal to x. So here what you do is you can either use a logic gates and you can write the logic gates as well. You can write the truth table and further simplify the truth table using a postulates and you can just verify. If not, you can just simplify it by taking y and x as a com common outside that is equal to y plus y bar y plus y bar is equal to 1 so x into 1 is equal to x the same way x plus y into x plus y bar you can multiply it and you can further simplify it and when you once further simplify it you will get x so theorem 9 so this completes your theorem 8 so coming into a theorem 9 so you can see x plus y dash that is nothing but y complement whole bracket into y equals to x into y so that is given by multiply it multiply it so when you multiply taking a complement uh, multiplying it so y complement into y is equal to 1 so hence lhs what you get will be equal to rhs uh, this is proved by using a dual dual theorem this is a this is a dual theorem so same way you can prove the 9b also so coming into a theorem 10 theorem 10 is called as absorption law or redundancy law you can see how do we prove this it is a straightforward um, proof you can take a x common once you take an x common you will get x into 1 plus y that is equal to x into 1 that is equal to x so by this we can prove the theorem a the similar way we can prove the theorem b also so this proves all the 10 theorems next is a theorem number 11 so what do you mean by this so here this is very simple you can realize it or you can prove it by writing a truth table of it write a just check how many expressions are there there are three expression write down x y z once you write down the x y z so write down the input bits once you write down the input bits you can further write write the values what it is required in the lhs and what is required in the rhs then using a postulate you can get these values once you get these values you can prove it so rhs is equal to lhs so by this you can prove the theorem love so theorem 12 theorem 12 can also be realized by using a uh, by using a true table just write down the input bits uh, uh, three input bits in uh, from 0 to 7 then look into it what, uh, whatever it is required in this in order to prove just write down it by using a postulate you will find out the values of this once you find out the values of this check whether LHS is equal to RHS